So as you can see here in the bottom left, it's just uploading. And whilst we're waiting for this, um, I'll, later on I'll just mention that I'll show you guys also how to check the tracking and uh, the downloads of the games and how many you've had and the growth and we can see that as well. As no, words not allowed. Okay, so I think application name has not allowed words. I think what's happened here is uh, the free word is not allowed in there, I'm guessing. Um, so what I'll do is I'll rename that slightly. And what we'll try is Chicks Revenge, a tiny pig killer. So hopefully going through this process will, uh, even though this video isn't very smooth in terms of actually getting the the game uploaded and, and getting through the process, hopefully it will make it a little bit smoother for you guys because you, you can see the things that we're having trouble with and therefore save you, save you guys some time later. At least that's what I'm. Uh, that's a, a sort of a good backup for making a, a kind of a video that's a little bit broken. Okay. But for those of you guys out there who perhaps have already uh, uploaded to other alternative or third sort of third party uh, Android app stores, uh, I think you kind of maybe or know the, the the pain and the blood, sweat, and tears that you might go through to to upload games to other these sites. Okay, uh, because it does require a lot of time. But once it's up, it's great. You know, you can have a lot of extra downloads. So I'm just double checking that this is okay. And I'm just going to change this one as well. Uh, Chicks Revenge, a tiny pig killer. Click next. And hopefully everything will go through okay now. So we're uploading. Um, it would be nice if it sort of mentioned it on GetJar and then, you know, it actually kept the uh, the screenshot location in here and the logo location uh, from your drive so that it doesn't wipe it once if it doesn't work. Or perhaps if you tried a name and then it popped up with a confirmation to say, hey, you can't use this word or you can't use the word free. So anyway, but there we go. So application was created successfully. Great. So the next thing is we need to actually upload the file. Uh, which is the APK file, which is what you guys have, uh, have hopefully built uh, and have available and ready. So what I'm going to do is click on Choose File, and I'm just going to go back to my Chicks Revenge folder. I'm going to go down to the latest version, which is October the 17th. Builds, and the newest one is version 2.2, which we had already uploaded to Slider Me, and I've made notes on the version here. It's an APK file, so I'm going to click Open, and it's got the location. Uh, build name, I'm just going to call this Chicks Revenge um, uh, 2.2. Build version is also 2.2. Build description. And Chicks Revenge with falling coins. Version 2.2. And add mob ads. So I'm just, it's just a little description here. The falling coins was a new feature uh, that players can do in the game. As the coins fall, they can tap on them and collect them. So it just reminds me that it's a newer version, and also that we have AdMob ads inside the game, and the new target that's fine. We're, we're not we're not updating a previous game or application here, so we can just leave this as a new target, and set the target. And this might just take a few seconds to do. So what I'm going to do there, guys, instead of you guys just staring at me whilst I'm waiting for this, I'm just going to pause it, and then I'll come back in just a moment. Hi again everyone, so we're back and it's now uploaded uh, the Chicks Revenge APK file and taken us to the next screen. So the next thing we want to do is set where we want this uh, game to be available. And uh, we've got a list of countries here and we can define a list of locations and say hey we only want it for this area if you have specific say uh, a build in Chinese and a build in French and so on. Uh, but for Chicks Revenge it's in English and so we're going to go pretty much for all the networks and, and all the uh, all the territories. So by default, GetJar uh, automatically does it for all, all countries if you don't actually uh, select anything here. So I'm just going to click Continue to Networks. It also by default it selects all networks, so Continue to Features. Um, now for the Android OS version for us, the only thing is it can do all of them apart from uh, 2.1. 
uh, anything before 2.1. So let me just check. I'm selecting the right ones here. Okay. So 1.1 over 5.6, uh, 2.0 it doesn't. So 3.2, 2.1, uh, 2.3, okay. And that's all fine. So I'm gonna include those ones. Okay, so yeah, if, if, you're, if you're building on Android or if you're targeting a later Android version, then make sure to select which ones it is, uh, it is available for there. Okay. So, uh, you are targeting anyone who has phones with Android 2.1, 2.2, 2.3. Okay, so that's fine. So, continue to phones. I'm going to target all phones that uh, allow these Android versions. And then continue to review. So, target name, we're just going to call this, call this Chicks Revenge 2, two with fallen coins, with coins. Okay, and Chicks Revenge, Tiny Pig Killer, with Fallen Coins, version 2.2. So that's just uh, what this is, is when we go back into GetJar and we're looking at our dashboard, or if we're updating any of the games, we know which ones we've got here, which, which version we've updated, uh, which ones are already available to users on GetJar. So everything should be fine now. So uh, after setting up all these, if we click save and finish, this should take us back to the dashboard screen where we can see uh, the list of games. Okay, just scroll down. There you go, we set the target, click done. And we should be almost pretty good to go. Okay, so build was successfully created in 48 hours. That's great. Usually GetJar takes a few days to review and check the game, but then once it's available, it's live, and, and you can pass the link around, and players can start to download it when they're browsing through the GetJar market. What it, you have to do is one more thing. If you click on Publishing Arrow here, go to Apps and Sites. Uh, as you can see here, Chick's Revenge, a tiny pig killer, is inactive at the moment. What you want to do is click on here, so the checkbox uh, for the game that you've just uploaded, click Activate, and it should say to under review, and there you go. So I actually missed out that one a, a few uh, a few months ago, and I wondered why the game wasn't being updated, and it was there for a couple of weeks. It's just because of that checkbox there. So please be aware of that. Uh, once the game is live, and once they've reviewed it, then you can start to share the link around, or players who are browsing through the GetJar uh, marketplace can find your game, and they can download it. Uh, the link, if you want to pass it around, is this one here, which is really useful. I'm just going to copy that one. I'm just going to paste it in here, and it won't be available yet. I shouldn't see anything at the moment, but once it is available, then this link, you can just pass that around, and everyone can see the, the, the web version if they want to access it that way. Okay, but uh, the other thing I wanted to quickly show you guys before we, uh, before we finish this video is actually how to see the download. So if you click on Dashboard, because this is very useful and something as, as, a, as a game developer or an application developer you always want to see how many downloads you're, you're getting on each individual market so you know which one to focus on. So here, here at the top you can select which application or game. Uh, I'm going to give uh, Killer Shooting Sniper X, I'm going to check that one out because usually the downloads for this game are a little bit better. So uh, 1600 downloads, if I click on more here that will actually give me more details and I can see the graph as well. So we've selected from October 1st, so this was the month of October. Um, and day to day is around 80 downloads, 75, 53, 64. And I think I can actually select uh, a later month if I wanted to. So if I go through all of November, October to November, I think I can do this. But actually, the reporting and the statistics on GetJar are pretty good. So you get some you get some good information on uh, how exactly your downloads are doing, or if, if things have sort of slumped a little bit recently. Or so let's go from November the first to November the tenth. I think I can do this. I don't know if this is going to update. I should do. I'm not sure if there's a particular date range that you have to select or not select. So. 
Um, 156 downloads, 149. So actually, it's done a little bit better the past couple of days. So that's that's pretty cool, and hopefully that'll just continue to go up and up. And and the ninth hasn't yet updated. So, but definitely, guys, like I say, for anybody who's developing games out there, especially indie developers, um, it's very important to get your game into as many markets as possible. Uh, you know, Google Play is obviously uh, usually the first choice for most developers. Uh, the Amazon App Store, which we also upload to, and if anybody's interested in seeing a video on, on how to upload uh, the uh, games or applications to the Amazon App Store, then please let me know.